All right, good evening, everybody. It's your boy Akeem here to give you a scout report on Leonte Carew, the wide receiver coming out of Rutgers. Now he's from Edison, New Jersey, and decided to stay in state to face to play for the Scarlet Knights. Now he actually had a pretty good career. He didn't play too much as a freshman, but then his sophomore season he did have 478 yards receiving. He finally started to catch my personal attention in 2014, when which he had 55 receptions for over a thousand yards receiving and in this past season he did have over 800 yards on just 39 receptions 20.7 yards per catch this past season and despite the fact that he missed two games due to a suspension which I'll explain a little bit later let's first let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses first his strengths now I do like the fact that he had a pretty good workout during the senior bowl practices he was actually one of the top receivers in senior bowl week in which he did a good job with his initial quickness coming off the line of scrimmage, agility, and acceleration to get um, to sneak his way past behind the defenses. Did a great job with that. Now, other things that I do like about him is that he has a great, solid build. He's six foot, two hundred and eleven pounds. Nice bulk, good muscle, good muscle tone, and a great frame for a guy for his height. Now, his height is not really what you really want, but his weight, as far as um, being more physical of a receiver, yeah, that can help because he won't be able to be pushed around as much against the um, bigger uh, uh our cornerbacks in the National Football League. Now, other things I do like about him is that he is a deep ball threat. I mentioned the 20.7 yards per carry this past season. I think he averaged about 19 in 2014. Because he's a deep ball threat, that has definitely caught a lot of people's eyes in which coaches really want because they want to be able to have the, a player to depend on deep down the field to get um, further to get further into at least into field goal range. Now, he does have some weaknesses, though. He just like I said, I mentioned his height. His height he's only six feet but also I mentioned he had a two-game suspension because he was arrested back in September 12th of this past year, 2015, for a simple assault under domestic violence, which is a big no-no in the National Football League. We've been seeing a lot of cases like Adrian Peterson, Ray Rice, and other cases where which uh, Greg Hardy, in which domestic violence have been a major issue in players in the National Football League. So, but by, by looking at that, the evaluators and teams are actually looking away from him. Um, but even uh, even though I do think he's a great athlete, I um, think that um teams need to not overlook not overlook this guy. Even though he another thing is he did play for Scar for the uh, Rutgers um Scar Rutgers Scarlet Knights, and the fact that he played at Rutgers didn't really get much national attention, but he definitely caught my eye. I think this is a pretty good player. Now with the domestic violence issue, that's like I said. A, the teams and teams is definitely kind of fading out with that. And then with that being said, I think he might become a third round pick, but I think he's a solid second round pick. One of my top 10 wide receivers entering this year's draft. I see him more as a set a valuable second round pick, but I think he might bump to the third or possibly the fourth round because of the domestic violent case he had until on September 12th. Now the next time to catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes, I have one more blog for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man Keem Call. Be easy.